Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, we're learning about how to set the eventual environment in Julia. So we go with Julia 0.6, right? In Julia, we use what is called playground. So pick it using. So first of all, let's add this package pkg.add playground. Then after adding this package, you move on to the next step. I already added this, so I'll comment it out. Then environment is equal to then you said you put your playground here, so play capital ground and let's go install. Then move on to true, set it to true. Then you build it. So pkg dot build not add b u i l d then playground right. It's going to build it perfectly for you. So I've already done it. So you just move on straight away. Then after that, you just go with using playground. This is when if you want to use your virtual environment inside your web browser, right? I'll teach you another way if you want to use it outside your studio console. So it will take some time to build. So you just go with uh, you just move straight away to have access to it. But it, so you can just set an environment. So env environment, this is then you put your name, then the name of the environment. So let's call it Julia 1, right? Or Julia 2. Okay, GL2. So this is the type, is the function that is going to create the environment. You are storing it inside the env. So it's going to build it and store it inside the env, right? Okay. So you see that it is stored here, GL2, and then stored inside your share playground and share folder. So create then env. So this env can be done into text two arguments. So it can take this env, which is going to automatically create the virtual environment for you straight away, right? Or you can add another configuration to it. So we'll be, we'll be checking that one later. So after creating environment, let's create a configuration file. So it's going to be config. This configuration file is going to be in YAML. So config, right? C O N F. Then we're going to store it as inside this variable config. So config, then to bracket. So you see that it has been stored here. Now you can see that you can list our configuration file. Then you see all the playgrounds or virtual environments you have. So GL1, GL2. See this P here. To be able to do this, is you just have to add this package pkg.add file part. This file part helps you to specify specific parts or folder to put your virtual environment. So using file parts, right? So just go straight away to have access to that. So now let's check some of the things that we can do with this. So you can activate it. So activate the environment with activate. Then it's going to activate our environment. So you can set the shell to be true or false. So this is false, which so just goes straight to Julia. Right, so version info will tell me that this I'm using my Julia 0.6. That is the essence of this shell force. Then you see all the information here. So you can also check some other stuff like adding another package. To add a package, you just have to initialize it first. So pkg.init to initialize it. It's going to initialize and then initialize the packages inside the shell, shell folder, right? So that you can download and any package you're going to download will be stored inside these packages inside this more virtual environment okay to take some time to prepare it so after that you can add our package so package dot add let's say any package you want so let's say nettle that is for hashing or maybe pandas or something any package that you want to add or pandas right any package that you want to add so let's move on straight away so after that you can also do some other stuff but before we exit that is if you want to edit it let's check something let's check our current directory with pkg dot dir that is directory we want to list our current directory so that you know where you are working it's different from this pw which is the root but this pkg is the actual for environment you are okay so let's can check check everything that is inside our current this is not our current package but our current directory where we are okay so you can exit it with this and then you go back straight away so that is what you can do with this package right thank you now let's try another thing we can also do we can also go straight away with using this format of using playground and then sorry for the noise you can just create an environment right so take some time so let's set our configuration file right so config Let's go to config right so after that you can just check all the playground that we have currently inside which is written on our config yaml 
Okay, so let's check list. Let's then list them config. Now you can see that all of these things. So how do you move to this package? To move that, just go with activate. Then yeah, this is not going to work. If you do it in this format, it's not going to work. But to be able to let allow it to work, you have to go with this format of config, right? To tell in the configuration to look inside the YAML file. And then when you look inside the YAML file, check this virtual environment and then use a shell or don't use a shell, right? That is the essence of this. So you have to remember this. If you don't bring the config, it's not going to work. It's going to give you an error. See that does not move to my virtual playground, right? My playground or virtual environment. So if I want to get out of it, I can just go with deactivate and then I'm back to my actual Julia, right? Same thing can be done here. So if I do it this format, right, it just goes straight away to my shell instead of going to my Julia, which is our batch shell. This is an actual batch shell. So I can even run Julia from this place. Right? This is Julia point four, not Julia point six. Right. So our virtual environment is Julia point six, but inside our virtual environment we are running Julia. So to exist the entire stuff go with exist, right? then you will be back to your original stuff okay so if i list my config i'm back to my original file thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so everybody can benefit stay blessed